Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome, Snort. Welcome, Jamie. Dylan, what's going on, guys? We have a very special unboxing. I figured I might as well start going live with these unboxings. Joshua, the great Miner90, welcome to Zack Baby TV, the home of all awesomeness and amazingness. What's up, Frederick? Anderson, what's up? You guys are piling in like a fresh dookie. What is going on? Awesome book, Jamie. Good choice. Very cool. Now, before we get started, I need to take a step. Ah. Jordan! Yes, I watched them too. They're very funny. So, guys, I have a very special unboxing that I'm going to be doing today. That came from someone named Paul. That's a fan of mine that's on... I don't know. He contacted me on Facebook. But... He messaged me and said that he had some stuff left over from an old collection that he had. And uh, he wanted to know if I wanted any of it. So I said, sure. And he gave me a really good freaking deal on a few cool items. And so shout out to Paul. He's over in the UK. He's over there in England. So shout out to you, dude. Appreciate it. Your stuff just came in the mail today. And uh, yeah, you're wearing my shirt, Josh. Awesome. Spread me like butter, buddy. And give me that freaking beanbag while you're at it. So... Without further ado, here's the package. It's not humongous, but it's a package. And it's from Paul in the United Kingdom. So, uh, hold on. I only got so many hands here. Oh, we're going to go ahead and sit down. Oh, oh yeah. So, we got the, bo we got the package here from Paul. Didn't want to drop the Pepsi. Mmm. Good, Josh. Good. Negotiate. All right, guys. So we have a package here. Now, there was an outside package that I removed that's ha that had the, you know, the address and stuff, right? So this one actually doesn't have an address on it, so I can show it. Now, this is from the United Kingdom. And I've already opened the top here. And this is from a fan named Paul. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> set you down here ground level. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to open this. Eh, one hole. Eh. Oh, gosh. Man. This is not going to be easy, guys. Ah. Is there anything in this? Nope, just paper. Paper. Now this is from the United Kingdom. My friends on the island. Now he said he was going to send me a couple surprise things in here too. Because I love surprises. Eh. Eh, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Eh. Anything hiding in here? Nope. Okay. So. First off, we have this awesome um, tin, Goosebumps. Uh, I think it's for pencil tin. It's from 1997, guys. This is a pencil tin. Looks really freaking cool. The back, here's the back of it. Great Britain. So, yeah, this is from England. Very sweet. Nice. You were born in 2007. Okay, so we open it up, and it is a tin here for your collectible stuff and uh, pencils, pens, whatever, you know. And we have a monster card. You will be afraid to leave home without it. Goosebumps Bank. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. All right, monster account, monster amount with us. We're dying to take your money. Ha 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 ha. What's up, Ryan? So, we're just doing the old unboxing here from the United Kingdom that just came in the mail. 
So we got a monster bank card. That's cool, right? i never seen that before. And we have a Curly Goosebumps. Uh, you could exchange your book token at most bookshops. The choice is yours. Okay, I don't know what he means by that, but let's go ahead and... uh. So yeah, these things are hard to find. Ten things are hard to find. Um, pencil holders and stuff like that are not the easiest thing. But very cool, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's freaking cool. Uh, that's pretty sweet. What's up, Goosebumps boy? Oh, let's see what this is. So we open this up here. And it is a uh, book tokens bookmark. I guess that's detachable, maybe. Um, Goosebumps, your book token gives you the pleasure of choosing books in more than 3,000 bookshops throughout the UK and Ireland. Um, to who? Okay. It looks like this might be like a gift card, gift card holder or something. I'm not really sure. It's pretty cool though. So, book token from the UK. And I got a, a key here. There, there was a key. There's, what's this key for? We'll keep that there because I'm not sure what that key is for. I don't want to lose it. And voila, guys! Look, check out this freaking. Goosebumps binder. I have never seen this binder before, guys. Check that out. It's got a whole bunch of creepy eyes, spider webs. So it's like little spiders everywhere. Isn't that a really cool binder? And it even says Goosebumps on the side here. And let's check out the back of it. Uh, goosebumps. More Great Britain, 1997, Parachute Press, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is definitely rare. I've never seen this binder before at all, ever. Um, and it's in very good condition. So, let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know what this, no idea what that key is for. I wonder if that was sent by mistake. Hold on, hold on. Pepsi. Mmm. Uh, thoughts on the movie The New Title? Ryan, I do not like the new title of the movie at all. Slappy's Revenge might have been titled the first movie, not the second one. It should have been like Horrorland and stuff. It was really cool. So, without further ado, I know there's some stuff inside here. Um, I didn't know about the monster card. I didn't know about this gift card holder thing. And I still don't know what's up with this key. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Oh, <laughs> I'm teasing you now. It doesn't even want to stay open. That's how good. That Look at the inside of this. That is so cool. Like it doesn't have sleeves in here for papers. Usually there's like a, sl a slit in here. We can stick papers in. Um, and, uh. Yeah, so it's just cardboard here on the back and the front. And there's only two of these. Usually, guys, there's like three to four, you know? There's only two in the center here for the clippings. Um, hold on a second. How am I going to open this crap? Eh. Well, actually, no. I could just pull it out. Attention, Paul. See that? Oh, gosh. Sorry about that, guys. He even says, attention, Paul. So, originally, when he got it, it was to Paul. So, we're going to check out the goodies in here. Oh, very cool. Look at this, guys. I got a Night in Terror Tower. The cassette tape. But this is the English version from England. <laughs> now, they have a Night in Terror Tower Disney American version, which I have, but I don't have this English version, and I really, I really, I'm really digging the cover. Uh. Isn't that a cool cover, guys? The guy's like trapped in a cell, and he's got, he's chained up, and he got rats and crap, and like bubbles and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Listen, if you dare. Here's the side of it here. Let's see what year it came out in England. 1997. See that? 97. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, man, that is freaking sweet. And that's how you open it up here. And the tape is in here. Well, this thing is still in the plastic, guys. The tape's in the plastic still. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not messing with the tape. So that's that. And let's see. What else is going on here? Um, we got some Goosebumps fruit flavor jellies which I actually saw in an auction, but those ones were unopened with the fruit inside, with the with the candy, or stickers, with collectible stickers. This is just a piece of cardboard. So, it's just a piece of cardboard. But, I guess it's okay. But yeah, so I got a piece of cardboard. Thank you, Paul. Ah, <laughs> uh, what else is in here? Oh, keep out. I've got Goosebumps doorknob. That's cool by Curly. Keep out. I've got Goosebumps. Okay, that's cool. All right, Goosebumps pencil hugger. Not too sure what that is. I don't know what... Actually, I have no idea what that is. Uh, what, what, was it like an old sticker or something? I don't know. It's cool, though. <coughs> okay. Uh, the Goosebumps Collectors Club. Uh oh Is that somebody's address? Sure is. Cover that up. This is an English fan club thing here. All right, the Goosebumps fan club. Go ahead and read it. Welcome to the Goosebumps collectors club. Your introductory pack is enclosed. Please make sure your books have arrived in good condition. The books have been carefully selected, and we hope they bring fun and enjoyment to you and your child. You have already paid for this introductory pack, so this payment advice form is just for your reference. Uh, you will be sent your next exciting Goosebumps Collectors Club pack in approximately one month's time. Sue Collins. Thank you, Sue. In England. Thank you, Sue. So this is like a letter that they send out to people. Uh, Goosebumps Collectors Club. This is uh, freaking cool um, to even have that. Um, I don't remember mine. All right. We have here uh, the Red House, a guide to the Goosebumps Collectors Club. All right. Here, welcome to the new Goosebumps Collectors Club from the Red House. Each month you'll receive a fantastic pack containing three Goosebump titles and other exclusive Goosebump items delivered to you free to your home. The Red House is one of the best known children's book clubs, blah, 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 in the UK, blah, 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 blah. Give me my free stuff. <laughs> um, and there's questionnaires and stuff like that in here. Uh, okay. okay, so there's that. And and another one. Okay. Okay, so not really. I don't really know too much about it, but there's two, like, Welcome to the Goosebumps Collectors Clubs thing here by Red House. Not too sure how rare that stuff is. Um, and we have... So outside of that, we got an awesome binder. Really freaking cool. 
And but, to top it off, the last two items is uh, two Goosebump Scare Zines. Really cool. I just came across 13 more online that are that actually has been put in the mail. So uh, here's two. So these, uh, yeah. So, wow. This is uh, really cool. Scare Zines are very rare. Uh, the, they're like little magazines um, that kind of promote the books. Um, scare Zine number two. This is number one, and this is number... See that? Number one and number two. I don't know how many of these they made, so I'm just going to kind of do my research. So these these Scare Zines are really freaking rare. See what we got uh chillin chillin' with R.L. Stein. Hello fans, this is your pulse are you pulse rating yet? Blah, blah, blah. Um uh, Monster Makers, um behind the scenes footage. Um sorry about the light, guys. With uh the haunted mask, here's a group shot here. What is your oh behind the scenes question and answers? This is really cool. Um Goosebumps, how to grow your own nasty plant head. Um, then get a, a word puzzle, different little games you could do. How to draw goosebumps uh, with uh, Tim Jacobus. I thought that was really cool. It's like a step by step. How to uh, draw an evil monster. And then. Um, yeah, that's really cool. It's a scare zine. Man, okay. So. Damn it. Oh, well. Okay. So there's that. That's number one. Goosebumps official scare zine. Really cool cover. I really dig the campfire feel for the for the cover. I love camping. I love campfire stuff with that big old full moon. Um, it looks like Curly just had a huge fart. Um, and he's like, yeah! So there's that one. Here's number two. Curly's chilling in a cemetery with his buddy. Um, just reading goosebumps, you know. So we got uh, chilling with Arl Stein again. Um, looks like he's saying greeting fans and uh, saying some more stuff. Uh, the scarier the better. Uh, read, read, read. Get right to get right to it. Blah 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 blah. And uh, got goosebumps. Say cheese and die laughs. You know, ordinary photo and gruesome photos um that's pretty cool first second third last okay um more crossword puzzles and, and little games to play the puzzle crypt how to draw you know here's how to draw the mummy step-by-step -step process um with tim jacobus very cool um these are incredibly freaking rare um my least favorite book would probably be Ghost Beach or Chicken Chicken or Vampire's Breath. Um, hey, Pat, what's up? Joshua, I saw the Scare Zine number one on eBay. Good for you. They're hard to find. You farted. Thank you, Eldrem. Fart on beef. Nice. Um, so, yeah, it's just some promo stuff, guys. These Scare Zines are so freaking hard to get. Um... Yeah, the bat from Trapped in Batwing Hall. That's right. You caught that? That was uh, right there. Yeah. Heck yeah. So, all in a nutshell, guys. This is a cool little ordeal. This guy actually said that he sold most of his collection to somebody in New York um, who knows R.L. Stein. So, I guess he made like a sweet deal or something with him. I wish he would have came to me first. I think I would have respected it more than whoever it was he sold it to but it is what it is so without further ado he's here is an overlook of everything that i got today i got the awesome 
Goosebumps binder. It's probably part of their fan club thing in the UK. Very freaking rare. I've never seen it before. Snort, you're horrible. Welcome to Camp Nightmare is like one of the best books. Um, I got a pencil tin holder. I still do not know what that freaking key is for. So, Paul, if you're watching, what is that key for, sir? Is it the key to my heart? <laughs> I got an open piece of cardboard where it used to have candy. Damn it! Where's my candy? Um, gift card thing, bank card, English, Night and Terror Tower, cassette tape, um, doorknob holder, official fan club letter, two more fan club letters, two different scare zines, issue number one, issue number two, and some picture pencil huggers. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool, guys. Um, uh, he hooked me up with all this stuff for 12 bucks. And that's that's American money. Like it was just literally nothing. We just we were we were just talking for you know about an hour or two, and he's like, "Hey, just give me twelve bucks, man. I'll send you some cool stuff." And like, all right. Um. Yeah, it does look like a luggage lock. Um, but there's no luggage in here. But I'm gonna keep the key just in case if I figure out what the hell to do with it and stuff. So yeah, guys, twelve bucks. I got all this cool stuff. The binder. Pencil tin cover. I know this pencil tin right there. That probably alone probably would have sold for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks on eBay. The binder would have sold for at least... I mean, I don't even know how much these, this binder is because the binders that you find online, they usually sell for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. But they're like very common and they're like all like the same binders that you see. I've never seen this binder before at all, ever. Like that is a really cool binder. I, I think that's like... One of the coolest ones I've ever seen. And the rest of it is just... Uh, these scare zines are freaking rare, guys. These are super, super rare. Um, and just a lot of miscellaneous stuff, you know. Um, I'm glad I got the Night in Terror Tower. That's really cool. I really dig the cover on that. Um, no, no more Spooky Chat Tuesdays. I'm just going live all the time now, Ryan. So, yeah, guys. I mean, that's pretty much ending the unboxing uh for today i got a lot of good goodies shout out to paul thank you paul and uh yeah hopefully you like the video i got more stuff coming i got uh two more packages two or three more packages coming from england um i got another one coming from america and uh we'll just take it from there guys i got lots of goodness coming your way so stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe Share it with your friends. Um, yeah. And we'll see you later. See ya.